Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Dominus Obscura deck from Nikolai Aurore. All right, so what's going on with the Dominus themed decks? Uh, the Dominus decks were a Kickstarter release from Nikolai Aurore, and of course it was successfully funded. Uh, Dominus, the word Dominus is Latin, Latin for master. And so Dominus illustrates the damaging physical and psychological effects of political ambition on those who seek to gain power through activities related to the underworld and dark magic. And Dominus seeks to represent both light and darkness mirrored here in this two deck theme. Divinus, Latin for sacred, and Obscura, Latin for dark. The tuck case is a thick, matte, deluxe tuck case, and it's designed with hot stamped gold foil and embossing effects. The front of the tuck case, as you can see, is some sort of an occult uh, cow skull uh, with just all kinds of occultic symbols and rune imagery and Roman numerals. It does say limited edition on the bottom. On one side it says embrace the darkness, and on the other side it says reach beyond the light. On the bottom there is some ad copy about Nikolai Aurore. The top has a pentagram symbol. Right there on the tuck flap it does say obscura. And the back design says Dominus Obscura Nikolai Aurora, and it has an upside down triangle symbol. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the NPCC on their highest quality linen stock. A lot of people always ask how these cards feel and how they handle. Uh, best thing I can do is stick 10 of these in a caliper and measure them for you so that you can get a better idea of how they might feel compared to other decks you might have previously owned. Uh, the Obscura deck, uh, when I stick it into a caliper, 10 cards comes to 2.92. 2.92 is on uh, par with the Red Arcane deck, uh, the Laura London Knock cards, and the Piff the Magic Dragon deck. The back design is decorated with royal, divine, religious, and occult symbolism. It has a two-way back design that represents the European monarchs, moral codex, and reign. The noble and honorable ruler will stay on a path of light. The relentless ruler will be lured by the underworld in ambitious blindness. For both editions, the two-way artwork is a single Pantone ink with gold pigment. With this deck, you'll get two Dominus ad cards that tells you a little bit more about the theme of this deck. Also with this deck, you'll get two original Skull Jokers. Very haunting. Your four aces are all occult symbols encased in a circle with crossed bars. Your core cards contain four knights, which are the jacks, four queens, and four kings, all representing European monarchs. The Obscura deck features the same rulers as the Divinus deck, but this one in their darker versions. The afterlife is unforgiving and may turn your gift or talent into a curse that will haunt you forever. All are in a mirror design and illustrated by hand in collaboration with Eugen Poe. The Obscura deck, the pips and indices come on black faces in a slightly scratched, dirtier look. This effect is also vectored artwork and it's not just a filter. All right, so that is my review of the Dominus playing cards from Nikolai Aurore. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye. Scary cards, woo!